today we are going to be talking about how to know if you have a hen or a rooster during the first day to a week and a half to two weeks. Now these are all hens and this is our mama heating pad which you'll see a video on how to make in a link below. This is a week and a half old. Do you see how there's two layers of wings? There's a layer right here, and then there's a layer right here. That shows that this is a female. Also, her legs are fairly petite. She doesn't have extremely long or pointy uh, neck feathers. Um, she is really pretty. I really like her makeup, that's what I can call it. And this is a speckled Sussex chick that's about a week and a half old. And I'm going to go get one that is two days old and show you all some of the differences to look out for. Okay, so all of my chicks are girls right now. Um, I did hatch them, but they're all girls right now. Come here. So this is the wings of a one day old. Do you see how there's a shorter layer of, um, of the, come here, sorry about that, she's being really wiggly, like a shorter layer of these, um, I call them spikes, but they're not really spikes, let me get that focused. Come here, baby. Can you see how there's like a shorter layer of spikes? Right there. And then there's a longer layer. And that's how you know that they're girls. As long as they can be sexed by feathers. That's how you know within the first couple days is the best time to look. But um, like you saw earlier, the ones that were a week old you can still tell but past that it gets pretty hard and then I'm going to show you all this this little one right here so this one was our last hatch and it didn't quite dry all the way which is from the humidity being a little high she is she is struggling to walk her toes were super curled um, and so we went ahead and put chicken shoes on her is what we're gonna call them oh, come here baby it's okay it's okay it's okay she's got little chicken shoes and they're made and place the tape this is electrical tape so you go and you'll splay the feet out on the tape like in the middle you'll splay the toes out properly and kind of push them down just a little bit to uh, to make sure they're flat and then you'll ooh, come here hey 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 it's okay just chill right here and then uh, You'll go ahead and fold the tape over the top too. Make sure not to bend any of the toes. Make sure they're flat. Uh, this is really important to do within the first day or two um, after hatching because that's when their bones are developing and you want to make sure that the bones develop properly. So you'll do this and you want to make sure there's not a lot of extra uh, tape it's coming and then I put her in this little isolation cup that way she doesn't know don't touch that baby that's poop <laughs> my kids sticking his finger in poop okay I put her in this little isolation cup to kind of keep her safe from the other chicks so far they haven't messed with her and it also makes it to where if she wants out she has to stand up 
um, because she's not wanting to stand up very much because she wasn't able to walk from the beginning. So she's a little confused, but um, she should be standing up and coming out of the cup as she, as, and as she tries, she'll gain more strength. And then tomorrow, what I'll do is I'll separate her out since she was only born yesterday. I'll take her out of here and put her in her own little spot to eat and drink and then put her back in the cup. And I'll do this multiple times a day because I want her to build strength, but I don't want her to get bullied by these guys or these girls. Um, also, if you're interested in our mama heating pad, there's a video I have posted. So go ahead and check that one out. And, uh, yeah, we covered sexing. Uh, for the boys, what you'll notice is, you remember how these had two layers? The boys will just have one definite layer um, of the little, like, spike things that they, they grow feathers out of. Um, but yeah, these are our Speckled Sussex Chicks. And uh, we look forward to seeing y'all again on our channel. As you'll notice, if you look through our videos, we really haven't posted much lately. Um, there were some personal things that were going on, which um, caused me to not really have as much time as I had to garden and to make videos and stuff like that. So I did take a little break. Um, I'm in school now. I'm in my second year of my junior year at Tarleton. I'm super excited to get my degree next year. Um, and until then, I'm going to be making a lot more videos on homestead gardening and raising chicks. And um, I just started a worm bin yesterday, so we're gonna be doing worms as well. Um, and I want y'all to be involved. So. Let me know what you think of our video. Let me know um, if you have any other techniques that you use um, to sex your chicks. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.